Hi, today I'm going to do a demonstration of the MicroMaster interface. So, this is the first screen that comes up when you press any key. And it says press any key to continue, so I'll press enter. Now this is the MicroMaster homepage. Now each of these pages can be accessed by pressing a letter to get to the page. For instance, G will bring me to the I squared C monitor. And I can press escape to get back. Then, I can press the tab key to tab through the pages and as you can see I can hold it down and it is pretty robust it does not break so let's go through page by page so the configuration page allows you to set certain settings in the micro master mini so for instance the power supply the power supply is also adjustable I squared C pull-ups and I'm using the arrow keys um, to be able to move these things around and leave them in place. You see how that works. Let's put everything back the way we found it. Okay, so this is the IO control page. So I, once again, I can use the cursor keys. And if I press right and left, I can turn them on and off. And the blue uh, inputs are the GPIs. So that, you can see one of them is connected to a button that's hold high. So if I press the button it goes low, leave it high, it goes low. And then in purple we have the ADCs. And the ADCs I have it connected to a joystick on 0 and 1. And you see I move that joystick around and those values move around. Okay, so it says press spacebar to sniff I squared C addresses. So this is going to search every possible I squared C address on the bus and there we go. So we're just a little bit out of alignment so we can move that just like that, try that again and there it's perfectly lined up. So you can see that there's something at address 0x44. Um, so what we can do is go to the I squared C scripter page now what this is, is uh, I put in a bracket to say that I'm starting a message. Then I can put the 7-bit address in, which is 44. And now on register 1, I'm going to enter 2 bytes, CC10. And the close bracket will send that message. Alright, cool. So I just sent the initialization to a light sensor. Uh, and we're going to explore that next. So this is the I squared C command page. This is where you can send and receive I squared C messages. Um, the previous page you could only transmit them, but here you can receive them as well. So we're going to do monitor or register, yes. Enter our address, 44. Enter the number of TX bytes, 1. We're going to read register 00, zero and there are two RX bytes. So you can press spacebar to send. It tells us to see the next page. So as we can see on this page, um, we have a number moving around. So basically what's happening is the I squared C message is being sent about at about, about a rate of 5 hertz. Now, over here I can move the arrow keys and I can change it to binary, most significant bit decimal, and least significant bit decimal. Now this happens to be a least significant bit decimal number, meaning that the least significant byte is first. And I put my hand over the light sensor, and you can see that value going down. And leave it back up. Okay, so that's the I squared C monitor. Now the I squared C sniffer is something that's not hooked up. Is, I'm not connected to any I squared C network. But basically, what would happen if I was is this would display all the I squared C traffic on the I squared C bus. Now this is SPI command. This works exactly like I squared C. Uh, so we won't bother getting into that. There's also an SPI monitor, as you can see, that works the same way. And here's the UART. Um, here we can transmit UART messages, so we can enter the speed. Oh. We'll just give it that speed, and then text, and a string micro master. All right. So we press enter and that message transmitted. So here we have a UART streamer. So what this is basically used for is in place of an FTDI, you can have a you you can display all your output from your microcontroller to the UART streamer. 
okay, so here's a one wire command. So this works very similar to how um, I squared C works, and we'll go ahead and give this a try. So we enter the number of TX bytes, we're gonna go one. We're gonna give it a search ROM command, and we're gonna receive eight bytes. And press spacebar to send, so we see what happens is the TX here, is the ROM command, and here is what the one the the one wire bus returned. It returned the 64-bit ID for a temperature sensor, which is connected to the bus. So we can go to the one wire search algorithm and press S, and as we can see, we found that temperature sensor again via a search algorithm. CAN command works similar to the UART command or the, the SPI command or the I squared C command. Uh, that allows you to send CAN messages and receive, uh, well, you can't receive CAN messages. I mean, you can, but... So the CAN sniffer allows you to receive CAN messages. Now, this will pick up all the CAN traffic on the bus, no matter the ID or the size of the data. So this would be useful for debugging CAN problems. PWM, uh, turn on. Yes, let's turn on the PWM at a 50% duty cycle at a 1,000 hertz frequency. All right, so this is connected to a buzzer, so you're going to hear a beeping, uh, a, uh, you're going to hear a noise. All right, let's turn that off because it's annoying. Here we have a number converter, so we'll go ahead and try, we're in decimal, so we'll put in 100, and as we can see, the number changed up here, and that allows us to see what those numbers would be in hexadecimal, octal, and binary. So if I switch it over to hexadecimal, uh, I can let's say FE, and we see that's 254 in, in decimal. We basically, we see how that works. This is an error logger. This picks up any errors that occur. Now, right now, the errors are occurring because there was a knack from the address and the data when we did that I squared C search. Okay, so this is a task manager that just tells me the unused stack and my memory usage and the priority of my tasks. All right, so there's all the pages right now for the MicroMaster Mini. The MicroMaster Mini is still under development, uh, but if you like and subscribe to my channel, uh, there'll be more news coming out the mic about the MicroMaster, a website, and a place for you to pre-order, and possibly a Kickstarter. Thank you for your time.